Aloha Virgo, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your mid-month check-in. So this is um, for love for mid-July 2022 through mid-August 2022. So we're going to look at the soulmate cycle, we're going to look at love, we're going to look at whatever spirit wants to talk about, to be honest. Um, this energy lasts for 30 days at least, sometimes a little more. Um, as well as um, in this time frame, there is a lot of astrological energy that's very, very huge. Uh, I'll be doing some other readings on that, but we have um, right now, today, while it's being recorded, we have both Venus and Mercury in Cancer. And so this is very much a wanting to communicate with the soulmate, a wanting to um, be in those uh, home and nurturing and, and beautiful energies. But there's a bit of, of a wobble with it. That being said, uh, it's causing um, our counterparts to want to come towards us, right? And then we have 8-8, eight, eight, the Lion's Gate, which starts to open on July 26th, comes to its full potency on August 8th. Um, this is when our uh, spiritual sun, uh, which is the star Sirius, um, aligns with our actual sun. Um, and so Sirius um, shines... Uh, thousands of times uh, brighter than our sun so that we, we consider that our spiritual sun so what it does when it makes this alignment it opens a gateway it opens a gateway to release the past and those energies and to move us on to uh, our higher or highest timeline um, in every way uh, including in love relationships um, it opens the gateway of opportunity to <clears throat> move into a golden cycle, into past that wheel of karma. Um, so there is opportunity in this particular cycle to really move beyond uh, the limitations of our mind, right? So, um, so we'll get into to that later, but know that those energies are present in this reading. So they've been pretty um, awesome so far. Uh, before we get started, I want to say thank you. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for hitting that bell button. Thank you for those who have donated and tipped and for those who comment. I'm very grateful for all of that. It's helping my channel to grow. So let's keep that up as well as um, if you would like a private reading with me, there's two ways to do that. One is if you're a member with Keen. Uh, I do work for them if uh, you would like to get a quick reading um, or in the description box below I have the link to my Etsy channel options I have three options there to where you can do a private reading with me now I have um, deleted all of my social media accounts um, Instagram TikTok. Um, Facebook. So I'm not on any of those. So if anyone posing as me is asking you for a reading, please understand that's a scam. Save your beautiful money and your energy um, and do not engage. Okay. So if you would um, like to get in touch with me, that information is in the description box below of how to do that. And then every month I do a contest, free to enter, free to win, for a 30-minute session with me personally. I'll let you know at the end of the video how to enter that drawing as some are just here for the messages. All right, Virgo, let's get to it. We're going to get a Keepers of the Light card and see who is uh, watching over the journey for Virgo for the month of uh, mid-month to mid-month here. We have Commander Ashtar. Oh, I love that. Call to action says, take charge, lead by example, walk your talk. Woohoo! All right, Virgo. Okay, so Virgo, you're coming into your power in some way, and I feel like this is not limited to love, okay? This is in your life in general, which then leads to love. So you're being called to action in some way. Uh, we're going to look at the tarot and look a little bit deeper. Um but you are leading by example. And so in a love relationship situation, even if you're single at this time, um, or the soulmate that you're, you're calling in, this is leading by example energetically. This is leading by example in your vulnerability. This is leading by example in uh, how you communicate, okay? Um, so 
this is spirit saying that um, we're not in, in in Kansas anymore. All right, we're not in like La La Land anymore. This is you're here on Earth, and now it's time to walk your talk um, for this group because I do speak to people that are in soulmate cycles and speak to people who are high vibrational beings are attracted to my channel. So Virgo, many of you uh, have been dealing with your counterpart in the, the fifth dimension, uh, in your dream time, in your meditations, in, you know, your, um, your walking in Hakala, you know, the meditative daily life walk. Okay, but now it's saying it's time to bring it into the 3D. All right, it's time for you to uh, lead by example. So if something doesn't feel right to you in your body, you got to listen to that. Okay, uh, you got to lead by example. I feel like many of you are leaders anyway, Virgo. And so now this is just stepping it up. Um, all right, so it, it's like being honest with yourself about what you want uh what that looks like how it might come in um and moving forward but let's get the tarot and go a little deeper to see what this call to action is as it regards to your love and relationships Okay. All right. So for some of you, Virgo, you guys have been dealing with uh, this call to action is to cut off a, a fling, a fuck boy, fuck girl. Okay. Excuse my French, but we're all 18 plus here. Um, and you know if you've been dealing with that and holding on to something that's not for you, okay? Because we have the Ten of Swords with the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is attractive, uh, beautiful. They might even be intelligent, stunning, all right? But they're here for a good time, not for a long time. And I feel like uh, with Virgo, this is your past energy. <clears throat> and so I feel like you've been stabbed in the back or burned by... Uh, an individual that's like this, but they're still swimming around in your energy somewhere. And so because of that, it's like um, they're still holding on to your energy. And this is what Commander Ashtar is talking about. So take charge and lead by example. Cut the cords that you need to cut. Y'all know if you've still been dealing with somebody who's done stabbed you in the back several times, okay? Even if you're just dealing with them energetically. It's like, uh, they're giving me the example is you wouldn't invite a thief into your house. So why would you invite a thief into your mind or your energy? And this is, this is what I'm getting off of this. Um, it's kind of like this 10 of swords, but it has a bit of a seven of swords background. There's a little bit of a thief energy happening. And this is why they're saying lead by your example, right? It's like, um, figure out whatever works best for you cut through the illusions because your overall energy is the moon okay and so it's time to cut through the illusions it's time to cut through whatever's in that background frequency that would ha keep you from your person your soulmate the the it would keep you from walking your talk right um because right smack dab in the middle we have the sun and the six of cups, right? What's wanting to come in for you is true happiness. And we've got a soulmate here. Now, six of cups can go either way. Okay. It does mean harmony. It does mean, it does mean balance, uh, unconditional love, but it also can talk about thinking of someone from the past through rose colored glasses. So it often is talking about, um, you know, releasing the contracts with people, like actually looking at things the way that they are, not in the sunshiny way that we want to remember things, 
right? Um, but what this is telling me is in the soulmate cycle that you do have a soulmate coming on in, but it does require you to release someone who's in your energy who has been essentially um, taking from you, okay? Um, now, and this is strongly like a past lover because we have this Knight of Wands. So very passionate, um, <clears throat> but they're still, even if you're not speaking to them, they're still like sucking off of your energy, Virgo. So it's time to let that go because you do have in this month a doorway opening, all right? So this sun is showing me at that 8-8 eight, eight portal, there's a soulmate coming on in. All right. And it may even be a past life connection, but what they're showing me is, is a positive past life connection. But in order to be in resonance with it, there's a letting go that needs to happen of that past energy. And then moving forward by the end of the month, we have King of Swords with the star. Okay. The star it happens after a tower. All right. So this energy back here that happened with old with old F boy. Okay. Uh, with old, you know, Peter Pan. That was the tower moment after that. Okay. The star says you got through the tower and now you're on to healing. And now this also talks about wish fulfillment. Now we have King of Swords and this is, this is dual for me a message. Um, it feels like your energy and also the incoming energy. Okay, I feel like Virgo, you're going to walk your talk. King of Swords is the King of Spades, master of themselves and their environment. Um, the sword suit has to do with spirituality, intuition, um, and wisdom. Wisdom comes from experience, not from book knowledge. You have gone through it and you've mastered this lesson. Now's the time to accept the healing for it. And this month you're going to accept that. Um, and the um, King of Swords will rely on logic uh, often and intuition, um, but more so than emotions or passion. So you're being asked to um, look at things this particular month in a way that is more logical or intuitive rather than from your emotional body or your passion body okay um, this also says that you have an incoming uh, divine masculine who is going to communicate with you they're very intelligent um, they may not be super good at talking about their emotions okay so your incoming person is going to be very very intelligent uh, I feel like they're very loving, um, but they're not always the best at saying their feelings or emotions, but you all um, will communicate. What they're saying is that your minds are even, okay, and that you're coming into that with your, with your new person. This is your new person, all right? The past person, you're cutting it, <laughs> right? So for Virgo, I feel like with this soulmate cycle, you're welcoming in an entirely new soulmate, not new to you galactically, like you guys have had many past lives together, but you're going to get rid of this false energy. Um, you guys had someone come in who was a false flame. All right. Had they shown up as king of cups or had they shown up even as king of wands, even though that's I want it my way, even if they'd shown up as a king, but they came through as the knight. Okay, this says this is false. This is young energy that is, regardless of their age, this is, I don't want to grow up. This is, I want to take from you. Um, I'm here for a good time, not for a long time, right? Uh, so you're not going to accept that person back. And you may have felt like that they were a soulmate to you, okay? But they, uh, and and what Spirit's saying is that they were, are, um, but not in the way of who's going to be your long-term relationship. Like the soulmate that you have coming is in mastery of themselves. They're not going to be just coming to you with their loin. They're going to be coming to you with their mind and with their heart open because we have the six of cups. Okay. So though they're not great at expressing their feelings, they are going to come forward with their heart um, ready to receive. All right. 
there is a need for you to get out of some stuck energy so like you this is you needing to walk your talk there you have a decision to make in this particular month Virgo so um, this shows that you've been indecisive there's something that you haven't wanted to see that has caused you to be stuck and stagnant and so what spirits asking for you to do is go inside through your meditation go inside yourself turn your perspective the hanged man is card of pisces um it it the hanged man typically hangs himself or herself upside down to see things from a different perspective it's time to see that old flame from a different perspective it's time to really look um pierce through the illusions measure the illusion and move the f on because then you have uh, uh healing and regeneration so twice you have healing here okay um, this can be a stagnant and restful energy as well but it's saying it's like as you move through these energies the ice will start to melt because i feel like you have been a little bit on ice for some time um but your ships are coming in so even though this has felt like a delay to you um it's not a delay you had to learn something very specific with that person from the past so it's actually set you on course to seal in what you have wanted what you've been dreaming of from your partner it's to bring in your actual partner it's to bring in your big dream it's to bring in the ten of pentacles with the ten of cups okay it's to bring in the big dream all right um, but you are being asked to let go of an energy and you are being asked to walk your talk okay i feel like you guys are leaders and sometimes leaders have um a bit more to do in their relationships because you'll be teaching others all right so this feels like a victory for you and you are going to be assisted by commander ashtar to um how do i say that um to help you okay so there there it's like what i'm seeing is there's this energy coming in to where you're like boom your higher self and guide and yourself the masculine energy within yourself even if you're in a divine feminine body you're coming into your strength and being able to take right action correct action it's very empowering energy very very empowering it doesn't mean you go cold or anything like that it just means that you're making your decisions from a different place from a different compartment you're making your decisions from your um mind and intuition okay rather than all heart based right which virgos you can be very logical and detail oriented anyway but i feel like with this past person um the passion of it all kind of threw you off edge but remember you've got this happiness coming in you've got the playfulness as a little child it's just how you get to the playfulness of a little child and the happiness is that you um you use your logic this time around you use your intuition this time around rather than oh my god i want to do that squirrel i want to do this squirrel you know it's like um uh, those energies can be very fleeting at times if we're uh, only heart based you know so this is an integration um, but specifically they're asking you to make your choices uh, through your logic and intuition through mastering yourself you know that includes balancing your emotions all right let's close them out here beautiful and the last card is mending so yeah you've got three cards here of healing and mending all right so you're mending your heart at this time you're learning to um, balance yourself you're walking your talk okay um and for a small few of you there is a conversation to be had with the person from the past that helps to mend things with you um this does not mean that you get back with this person 
right? So the conversation may be inside your meditation. Some of you, uh, for a small few of you, you'll be talking to this person in the 3D physical world. Um, this doesn't mean that you're taking them back. It's like you're learning to mend yourself. It's a, what Spirit's saying is a closure, right? Um, it's allowing you the opportunity to mend that hurt within yourself. So um, this particular month is opening that gateway for your real soulmate to come in. I say real, we have many different soulmates, but the one that you're going to uh, do your life path walk with um, and to release the old, uh, you're going to be fully empowered by the end of the month and really um, congruent with, with yourself. Um, this is the other thing too is like remembering that speech um, are spells right uh, they always say sit for a spell um, and they call it spelling when we we make our, um, our our word charts there's a reason for that and so what we speak uh, we end up living because we're speaking it into existence um, and so speak that which is beautiful, real, true for you in who you're becoming uh, rather than what was true for you in the past. OK, so really beautiful energies here. Virgo, this is you coming into your power. Um, you're not going to be taking any shit anymore from the old energies. You're mending your own heart. Um, you are healing on multiple levels and you're going to choose to use logic and intuition over um uh, like raw emotion and passion um to make your decision and that actually produces you your your soulmate and your happiness okay um and so for the new to come in there is a need to cut the cord with the old uh in whatever way feels correct for you uh it then brings the space for the new to come in all right so much love to you. That's what I have for you, Virgo. So thank you so much. Uh, for those of you who would like to enter the drawing, it's free to enter, free to win. Here's how you do it. You'd be a subscriber if you're not already. So subscribe, hit that bell button, like and share this video. And then in the comment section below, write, um, I walk my talk. I walk my talk. And that lets me know that you'd like to be entered into the drawing. I will do that on video on the first of the month and announce the winner. And hopefully it is you. So until next time, aloha.